Continuing coverage tonight of the trial of three men accused of killing Ahmaud Arbery. In today's testimony, jurors were shown evidence that one of the men appeared to change his account of events on the day of the shooting. WSAV News 3's Brian Ray is joining us with more on what happened in court today. Tina, good evening. Today we heard from more officials from the Glen County Police Department. Using transcriptions from interviews captured on body camera, witnesses described conversations they had with the accused men on the day of Arbery's death. I saw him, yeah, in fact, if, if, to be perfectly honest with you, if I could have got a shot at the guy, I'd have shot him myself. Those are the words Officer Jeff Brandeberry testified Gregory McMichael sent to him while interviewing on the scene of Arbery's death. He was pretty amped up. He was, um, he, he appeared a little upset. He was talking a lot with gestures and using his hands. Defense attorneys are arguing the accused men were trying to make a citizen's arrest. Brandon Berry testified that Greg McMichael never told him that. Did Greg McMichael ever indicate to you at that time that he thought Ahmaud Arbery, the guy, had committed a crime that day? No, ma'am. Did he ever tell you while you're talking to him that he was attempting to make a citizen's arrest? No, ma'am. Did he ever even use the word arrest? No, ma'am. Detective Parker Marcy claimed the same thing while under oath. According to body cam transcription, Greg McMichael told Marcy he suspected Arbery had, quote, done something to someone. In the interview, McMichael told the detective he ran inside his home and grabbed his gun when he saw Arbery. Quoting, he says, I said, stop, you know, I'll blow your head off or something. I was trying to convey to this guy we were not playing, you know. Defense attorneys say in the interview, Greg told the detective if Arbery had turned around and said where he was coming from, it would, quote, be a whole different ball game. The attorney for William Roddy Bryan, the man who recorded Arbery's killing, motioned for a mistrial today for the second time since the trial started. He was taking issue with evidence presented regarding Bryan's relationship with Gregory McMichael. The judge denied his request. Bryan Ray, WSAV News 3 on your side. Bryan, thank you.